Surprise! It's Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. It's Dr. Lori live. I have my guests and I'm taking, of course, some guest information, expert answers to all your questions today. Thanks for joining me. All these, all these are unvetted. I have no idea what is coming and folks are going to show me their objects. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm fine. I'm Judy. Hi, uh, Judy. Yes, from uh, High Point, North Carolina. Nice to see you. you. Good to see you. So what have you got for me, Judy? I have a 17 inch tall. Um, and we can't see all the 17 inches. Judy. I'm trying. Judy, honey, we can't see all the 17 inches. <laughs> there, there you go. go. All right, good, great. You got it. Good, 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 good. Good job. All right. So 17 inch tall decanter, beautiful, lovely shape, right? Nice form. Nice columnar, nice form. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. So uh, how'd you acquire it? Um, I got it from um, my aunt's estate. She left me a lot of crystal and you've actually looked at the crystal with me on a, on a, a video call. We've done video calls. And if any of you want to do a video call, yes. if you're a little too shy for this, you of course can do video well, calls and, with me. And we forgot this one. I forgot this one. It was... It got to the side. All right. Well, we got a lot done that day. We but did. We, got, we forgot this one. So I'm glad you were able to get in today. I um, like this piece very well. A couple of different things about it. First of all, um, your aunt was of uh, European origin? No. Um, no. The piece, is, was, the piece is not from America. Uh, she was, but she's uh, she lived in New York. Okay. Um, okay. Very high-end stuff? Very high-end. Yeah. Stupid. yeah, yeah. All that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that piece marked? No, there's no markings. Yeah. That all. piece looks to be of European origin, first of all. It is obviously crystal. It's quite large. Probably dates to between 1930 and 1950. And I would say value on it 17 inches. You're probably looking at about $275 to $325 mm -hmm. in the market. Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. Remember, you want to go to those markets where people are paying what they can afford, not just getting bargains on these pieces. Right. That's a beautiful it piece. Has a I'm it sorry. Has a mate. It, it has a mate. Well, we're looking at one. I'm that's yes. an evaluation for one. You yeah. know, folks do that to me. They go, and I have another one, and I have this one. I want like well, I mean, it, I it came in a pair. I just have the one out. Yeah, that one's very nice. Nice piece. And of course, the matching stopper is going to increase value. So if you can find the stopper, if you're out there sourcing, thrifting, buying, yeah. uh, you want to make sure that you keep the stopper with it. So nice to see you, Judy. Thank you. Nice, nice to, to see, see you, Dr. Lori. Take care, Thank honey. You. So yeah, the video calls are a good way to get a lot of things appraised. Judy and I were on the phone for a good a good amount of time. So if you need a video call, of course, for anything, uh, you walk through the house with me on your device. So it's a lot of fun. And I hope you'll look into that. Gift certificates are also available. Here's my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? This is Ask Hi. Dr. Lori Live. Hi, Dr. Lori. I watch Hi. your show every week. My name Thank is you. Martha. And I'm from Cary, North Carolina. In Cary, okay. I'm going to show you what I found at a thrift store. Okay. Oh, exciting. <laughs> I have a set of six of these, exactly oh. like this, the cup and saucer. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Are they marked at all? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Why can't I do this? You're doing <laughs> fine, sweetheart. You're all right. You're doing fine. I have to say that that um, that's a really nice set. So you got six at the thrift store like that? I got six of them. I think I paid twenty five dollars for all six. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> so did you do some research? Well, no, I didn't. Um, the reason these these caught my interest was because my mom has a Steuben vase that has the same look to it. I thought, you know what? I'm not sure, but I'm going to take a chance. I'm just going to grab them up before anybody else does. I think that's exactly as the smartest thing to do. <laughs> and they are, of course, Steuben, Steuben style. You'll also notice that they have that, that lovely iridescence inside. I yes. really like that glass. I like the fact that you have the underplate. Oh, that never happens. Usually you just get the custard and never the underplate. Yeah, they're, they're, all, they're all perfect. There are no dings or chips or anything on all six. And you know so, what's funny? It's usually <laughs> nothing against the thrift stores. I know you all try, but the thrift <laughs> store usually is the place where it gets damaged as it's getting to the place where you guys is getting onto the shelf. 
So uh-huh. that's the thing. So those folks actually oh, obviously um, decorated and they entertained and they loved their objects and they took very good care of them. Value on one is $60, that one set. So that's one, of course, cup with the underplate, $60 times five. You know, that's a wonderful, wonderful $25 investment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, terrific. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching the channel. And uh, this weekend, of course, there's going to be another premiere on Sunday at 5. So I hope that you'll tune into that. Thanks for watching every week. I hope you're binge watching and using the binge link on my video calls. A lot of you have been telling me that you've been using the binge link and it's helping you to learn and to up your game. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to up your game, you know, and do just that. So a lot of fun. You were asking me about behind the scenes. You're like, I'd like a day behind the scenes. I'm going to tell you a secret. Last night I did something I have not done in a long time, which is I quit early and I decided to watch some of the stuff that was on my 25 jillion channel television. I don't really do that a lot. And I watched the Friends reunion. I was happy to see all of them. I thought that was fun. I wonder if any of you guys are watching. Don't forget, I'll take your questions too in the comments section if you're out there with questions. And thank you for the super stickers and the super chats. It helps support the channel and it helps support my team. I couldn't do it without them. But it was so funny to see this. It was kind of like throwback kind of thing. And I thought it was so funny. Hi, Daisy. I'm so glad that you're with me for the first time. I hope it's not the last time. You'll learn a lot right here. But it was funny to see them. Uh, Yes, I value artwork. I value all kinds of artwork. And if you watch the channel, there's actually a video about, of course, Patrick Nagel's work, uh, the 1980s. So yeah, I can certainly help you with that. A lot of 80s stuff is popular. A lot of 90s stuff is popular, which is why I thought the Friends uh, reunion was kind of interesting too. Um, It was really funny to hear them say, I don't really remember that episode. I don't really remember that episode. And it's funny because I've evaluated, you know, lots of objects, you know, this year about 50,000 objects, most year between 20 and 25,000 objects in years past. And you know what? I remember a lot of objects. I remember a lot of those stories. Here's my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What are you doing? Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, hon. How are you? Can you turn your camera the other way? I sure can. Sorry about that. Thank you. What's your name? Where are you? Hi, my name is Vince, and I'm from uh, Orange, California. Hi, Vince. Orange County. How you doing? Nice to see you. What's happening? So today I have, I have, I'm going to see if uh, maybe you tell me, I, I have two pieces. I want you to either choose one for me. Either I want to see your me. t-shirt. What does your t-shirt say? Overcome oh. by it all. He overcame it all. Yeah. Okay. It's, so he like, Jesus. Oh, I see. I wanted to see, I like to see the t-shirts. I don't, I, you know, I don't really wear a lot of things. There's a lot going on here, you know? So I don't really wear a lot here, you know? But I was just wondering what your t-shirt said. I like t-shirts. So I like tattoos too. Do you have any tattoos, Vince? No, just scars. No, you just got guns, right? Right, Vince? Yeah, just <laughs> You're a lot of fun. All so, right, what have you got? I, tattoos well, are hot. I have either, I want you to choose what you want to help me with. No, I, I don't just, choose, Vince. I don't choose, you choose. It's your stuff, choose. What uh, do you want? Okay. Okay, well, I didn't want to do this, but I, I don't know anything about this. So this, this You don't know anything this. about this? Yes, ma'am. It is a, I found this at a thrift store. Um, show it to us, Vince. We can't see yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. That's all right. Don't apologize. Just show it to us. There you go. Oh, so chromo lithograph. It's, in the, it's inside of a, a what's this called? Um, burn like lab. a scrapbook. Yeah, correct. Like yeah, an album, sure. scrapbook album. Yes. Okay. Says, take a look at this. Take at this little this little girl. This little girl is probably dead. Oh my gosh, she's probably dead. Really? Yeah. Whenever you see blue flowers with children, that's usually synonymous with death. Forget me nots, typically. Um, also, the other thing that sometimes dead people will hold in uh, an image and artwork is a piece of sprig of rosemary. I like rosemary on turkey, but you know, rosemary is the other one. So, but that's usually a child who has passed on. Very, very typical of the late 1800s, early 1900s. The Victorians and the Edwardians, late 1800s, early 1900s, are all interested in death and and kids sleeping, which really means they're dead, this kind of thing. The blue and the blue and the blue is all we're blue or we're sad that she's gone. It's a chromolithograph, which is a commercial or mechanical type of print. That print is how big? Is it 20 by 24? 14 by 20. Oh, it's 14 by 20. So standard size for the chromolithography of the early 20th century. I would say value on that's about 70 bucks for one. Oh, that one? With the with those, okay, so they're all children with these floral elements. So I wouldn't say each one is that, but each one is close to that depending on condition. 
Okay. okay. So between fifty and seventy-five dollars each, but you'd have to divorce them from the book. Oh, okay. Get there, that. I paid. Um, th th there's um. I paid twenty-five dollars for this. Yeah. So, yeah. So in order to that, command, I'm sorry, Vince. In order to command that kind of money, so when you're going to resell it, the couple of things you got to do, if you're going to resell it, you know, to resell the album, you probably won't get as much if you keep it in the album. Okay. Vince, thanks so much. Don't forget about my reselling tips because in these videos, I try to teach you some of the reselling tips too. I'm not a big advocate of cut it up. You know, get a book and cut it up. You get an atlas and you cut up all the maps and then you frame up the maps to resell them. But people do it. And it is one of those things that you have to sort of think about. In his, in, in his situation, you have an acidic support material. That album is all acid. All it's going to do is burn away those chromolithographs. And there are people who want the chromolithographs because they want to come and actually reframe them for their own decoration, for their own, you know, home design. There you go. Hi, Serena. Oh, you're spending your day off watching. Enjoy your day off. You earned it. So good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm glad to do it today. And I have more guests for you. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. You say you like it very much. And I'm glad you do. So I keep doing it as much as I can. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What's your name? Oh, I can't hear you. You have no audio. No audio. No audio. No so, audio. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about My that. My name oh, is Noah. Back. Can you please turn your, your camera the other way? So you everybody like can this. see your thing. Yeah, sorry. the other way. So horizontal. Oh my God, so... Horizontal, I can't please. do it. You can't go horizontal, sweetheart? It switched, it switched the whole thing. Is this right oh, now? Oh, no. I well, can uh, do it. All right, let's go on to another guest. Maybe she can figure it out. We'll come back to her. <laughs> so it's hard. You know, it's hard to do it. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Well, wow, that's a big swan. Yes, it is. Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Jessica Hi. from Virginia Beach. What's your first name, sweetie, Virginia Beach? Uh, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Nice to see you. Well, your swan kind of matches your motif, yeah. right? You've got kind of the tropical motif and the swan and, you know, you look like you're ready for the beach. Uh, yeah, I would love to go to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. What, so have we, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Your uh, audio. You're fine. Um, so it measures from uh, the beak to the tail, uh, two feet, seven inches, and I paid five twenty-five for it. What is it? What have you got? So it's just it's a, a, it's a decoy decoy project. <laughs> or it so, looks like some kind of decoy. Oh, well, it's not a decoy. <laughs> that's going to, that's, that's a well, decoy. I mean, it's <laughs> Sweetheart, you know, it's really going to not attract too many, too many well, swans. I mean, so. I'm, not, I'm not saying like a real one. It's, you know, like, I don't know. No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Uh, anyway, because everybody's going to write in, oh, Dr. Lori is so rude. And she's all this. And she's all that. Please. <laughs> I'm doing all of this for all of you. <coughs> yeah. This is, this is an interesting piece. <coughs> in the 1980s and 1990s, I can't tell you how many guys were making these swans and ducks and such. Um, I had an uncle who made a lot of that stuff in a workshop. They loved to do this. They would sort of copy these pieces that were very popular and oftentimes seen to decorate hotels, shopping malls, department stores. That's what this looks like. So it looks like a piece that is by a craftsman, someone who knows what they're doing and enjoys yeah. this as a hobby. It's so really nice. Ho I'm sorry, Jessica, what? I said it's really nicely made. Uh, basically a hobbyist person. Well, I'll tell you, you might say it's nicely made, but I see things that I think would be a little, could be a little bit better. For example, if you'll notice around the bottom, around the mm -hmm. bottom where you can see that indentation all the way around the bottom, you know, a good craftsman or a better hobbyist would actually putty all those through and they would actually tend to fix that. The, okay. Also, the head doesn't look very natural to me. So there are hobbies, and I only say this because I've looked at so many pieces. I don't want to be disparaging to your swan, because of course, you know, it's a wonderful swan, but I would say value on it is probably about 50 bucks. Okay. I could see someone saying, oh yeah, I like it, and it's, I'm good. it's going to make a nice decoration on my porch or maybe near my pool or that kind of thing, but basically it's a hobbyist piece. Um, right. How much did you pay for it, hon? Uh, 525 
Well, five twenty-five for a five-dollar investment—that's not a big deal. You can make, of course, ten times that, which is exactly what you're trying to do when you're thrifting. Oh. Or you can put it right beside you, right next to that nice big, you know, tropical um, yeah. curtain that you got there, and it probably will look pretty good. Or maybe you're going to put it next to the Japanese woodblock print of the wave. <laughs> Either way, oh, it's nice and nice to you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Take care. So some things you have to look at for, with respect to quality, right? So it's, oh, it's nicely made. Well, actually, when you really start to drill down and identify the pieces, you have to remember for years and years and years, I'm a museum art critic, you know? So I look at those things and I say, well, could it be better? And how could it be better? So it's not that it's not nicely made. It's just that you want to see what the best piece is. And the best pieces are where the best value is. I want you to educate your eyeballs. I'm going to help you do it so you learn what's valuable. Don't judge me, but I love that piece. You have every right to love that piece, Lori. All of you could love that piece. I want you to make sure that if you had two of those pieces sitting side by side and one of them was better made than the other one, that you, in fact, would choose the one that's higher quality. That's all. You could love it. Love it. I love stuff that's junk. We all do. Thank you, Judy, for the super sticker and the super chats, and thank all of you for them. Transylvania, Romania. I love Romania. I thought that was a fascinating place. I had a wonderful time in Romania. And I have a friend named Julia who lives in Romania. Yes, thank you for being with me. My European friends, I'm sure, are quite happy because they get to see us tonight. And I'm happy to have them. Uh, Marco last week was was in Venice and he stayed up very, very late to be part of the show. So I'm happy to be able to do it today. So we can talk to we can talk to Europe at a reasonable hour. So good to see you from Romania and thank you all for being with me. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate it very much. I've been hearing a lot of comments about my hair. I've been hearing a lot of, oh, it's so long, oh, it's so thick, oh, it's so, it's really a mess. <laughs> so back to my next guest. So those of you who've been nice about my hair, thank you, but I think it's a mess. Uh, how are you? I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Expert answers to your questions. What's your name? Tina. Hi, Dr. Hi, Tina. Where are you from? I'm in Florida. Where in Florida? Florida's big. You've got a big banana on your shirt. <laughs> Pensacola. Yes. Oh, exactly. Pensacola. That's nice. So tell me, what's this painting all about? I picked it up from Facebook Market. And Facebook Marketplace? You can get yes. bargains on Facebook Marketplace, don't you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are just like, just get it out of here. I don't care what it is. That's so that's exactly. why it's probably it's probably not a great place. Here's your reselling tip. Not a great place to resell it. Not right? Not. Yeah, the bargain places. So can you get the whole painting into I this know, shot? I mean, can you back up and not try to be, I mean, maybe you have to get out of the shot so I can see the painting. Yeah, let me Not to be difficult. Oh, oh, Dr. Lori, she's so rude. She's so bold. Come on. <laughs> I got to be able to see it. Can oh, you, you figured it out. Go over to the left. To the left, my left or your oh, right? Oh, that's not the left. That's the right. <laughs> <laughs> and then straight up. Straight up. Up. That's forward. There you go. Now you're talking. All right. You can't do it. You did a great job. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is it is it signed, Tina? Is it signed, honey? It is. It's signed by Gun Life or Gun Life. C-U-N-L-I-F-F-E. Okay. And can I see the back? Yes. And what did you, when you saw the back, what did you think? Uh, 1950s or 60s or 70s, maybe it's used staples to put it onto the. Okay, what you just said was a 30 year spread. Okay, <laughs> when I taught at Penn State, I didn't give the kids a 30 year spread. That's the difference between, you know, me being 60 and me being 30. <laughs> okay, that's a 30 year spread. That's a long time, right? That 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 bar in the middle, that bar straight down the middle says the 1980s. 80s? Okay. I was the, dark, the, the light colored canvas. But all of you are out there going, I learned this from Dr. Lori. I know this. I know that the light colored canvas is probably younger. I know what the staples mean because I taught you that. And you've been using that. And I'm happy about that. That particular piece is a nice piece. Is it 24 by 30? Oh, um, two and a half feet. Yeah, 24. Yep. Okay, it's about 24 by 30. Yeah. I take value on it, value on it with that particular artist's signature, who's a relatively well-known artist. Value on that piece, I would say 
nah, I'd probably give it 450 bucks. And not too much of that money is in the is in the frame. The frame is probably only $75. The frame is a pretty inexpensive one step up from mediocre strip frame. Not bad, not bad. How much did you pay? Uh, $50. $50, okay, so that's an investment. 50 bucks is an investment to make 400. But yeah. you know, that's not bad. Nice to meet you, enjoy Florida. Bye. So a couple of other things that people have been saying, and it's my, totally my fault. I've been forgetting to ask how much people paid. You know, I talk about real bargains all the time on the channel and I forgot to ask. So I'm sorry for that. I'll make sure I'll make a note to make sure I ask that. Um, but thank you very much for being my guest. And thank you, of course, for the super chats and the super stickers. It helps to support more videos for you so you can learn more. And so many of you are telling me I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much. I'm having so much fun. I'm I'm talking with other members of the community, which makes me very happy. And I've I've noticed more and more that people are are want the, the guests to be, you know, on it. You know, a lot of people in the in the chats are saying, you know, I want the guests to to have their measurements and to be ready. So I appreciate that too, because that supports me being able to get a good look. And I like to get a good look at these objects. I'm so happy that you're here as my guest. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. I, I'm envious of your hair. After menopause, my hair mostly fell out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I have about a teaspoon left and I wear hats. I'm self-imposed quarantine cut. I'm sure it hasn't helped. Well, I don't know anything about all of that at this point yet, but I have to say that, you know, there's a lot of it and it's kind of like getting everywhere. I mean, I don't have a dog. I wish I had a dog, but it's kind of like looking like I have a dog around here. There's hair everywhere, you know? So I'm constantly vacuuming. I don't know. Well, that's not something you need to know, but somebody said, I want to know behind the scenes. So behind the scenes was, I actually watched television last night. I never do that. And the other behind the scenes was I'm using my vacuum cleaners a lot more because there's so much air around. Anyway, it's good to be with all of you. Don't forget to sign. I'm going to go to the guests, but don't forget to sign up for the Dr. Lori newsletter. And if you didn't get the newsletter, that's because it wasn't sent out to your email box yet. So be patient. Subscribe to the newsletter at drlorev.com. It's easy to do. It's where you see the free thumbs up, put in your email address, and then confirm it and it will come to you. It's very easy to find right there when you go to the hamburger menu on your smartphone device. Go to that menu. And then, of course, you can hit the specials and shop page if you want to go shopping for some of our um, some of the merchandise. Or, of course, if you want to sign up for the newsletter. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Janine from San Luis Obispo, California. Hi, Janine. How is Hi. San Luis Obispo? Beautiful. Did I get that right? I have a friend who lives there from univer from graduate school, but uh -huh. I never say that Obispo part right. No, you got it. Obispo. Okay. Okay. How, how are you? What's happening? I'm good. Um, I found four of these prints at an estate sale. And got, got a lot glare. of glare, sweetheart. Yeah, let me see if I can move. Oh, hand. okay. I recognize that hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, I'm assuming they're museum prints. But they what other are, one do you have? Do you have another one? I do. I actually had to take this one out because there's some damage to the frame. Okay. Do you see a signature in the plate? Um. Yes. Is it glued? And is it glued down? It's glued down to a board. Okay. And let's see. The signature in the plate is what? Um. I can't read it. It's really okay. Tiny. Then get a different one that you can read. Um, this one just has initials. It says R-E. Okay. So they're all different. They're all by yeah. different artists. And if you'll notice, they've all been cut down and reprinted. So right. they had the original print, then it was photographed, then it was cut down and reprinted. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're all different, sweetheart. Right. Let's go, let's go back to the hand. The hand. Yeah. All right, so you got these, and these are lithographs, and these are mechanical prints, and they are in very telltale sign green velvet, which means I'm from the 1940s, green velvet mats. Okay. The red velvet mats are the 30s, the green velvet mats are the 40s, if you're looking at these types of things which have been framed. Can I see the back? Yeah, so they put a green velvet mat um, from the 40s into, of course, a frame from the 1980s. So they just moved it into another frame. All right. So basically what you have is you have elements that have been cut from a larger piece, right? So mm -hmm. in, in the manner of Rubens, Rembrandt, and Bernini and the like, uh, the great, of course, Baroque artists who are the printmakers. Uh, the best printmaker, really the best businessman printmaker was Rembrandt, but you'll see others that are making these prints as well. 
value on that print, which is a 20th century reproduction of a 17th century print. Okay, value on that about $25 for the print, about $25 for the frame. Can I ask one more question? Yeah, what did I, you pay? I, um, a dollar a piece. A dollar a piece is not bad to make 25. I used the loop and yeah. I noticed I didn't see this, the, the dots or anything you like that. You didn't see circular like dots. Her, no, you, I didn't, you see, didn't so see circular dots, like concentric no. circles. That's a mechanical print. What you have, of course, is a different type of lithograph, which I talked about in one of the videos, comparing, of course, the hand lithography versus, of course, the more mechanical lithography. Okay, so you said this is what? If it doesn't have the little circular print, the little right, circles, no. the little circle dots that we talk about, then that right. piece is not is is a not a mechanical print, okay. not done by a machine. <laughs> you know, putting out the print for the lithography. And if okay. you watch the video, which is why I mentioned the video, you will learn all of the nuances of that. And it's right there at the binge link. Very easy to do. Okay, I'll do it. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye to California. <laughs> so she was sweet, but yeah. So if you can get it for a dollar and then make 25, that's pretty good. I think there are a lot of people who would like that mossy velvet green kind of look. And of course, those those uh, gemstone colors tend to basically, those jewel colors tend to basically go with a lot of interior design. So I don't think she'll have a much trouble reselling that if that's her goal. But all of those prints were from all different artists. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I've got another guest. Remember, I don't know what's coming. Get Did off the that? phone. You're on the phone? I'm so sorry. I mean, really on the phone? <laughs> So you're not watching. All you're doing is waiting for me to come to you. Wow. I should be offended. Are you all getting red? You're getting red. You should get red. <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. I'm sorry. I'm visiting my daughter in Corpus Christi. And we went to an estate sale. And I found a bronze um, picture. Sorry. My, <laughs> I'm a little nervous right now. Take a breath. Don't be nervous. <laughs> I, I've been trying to get on for so long. Anyway, this is it. Okay. And it doesn't have any markings. Okay, so when you looked at it, what did you think it was? How old did you think well, it was? I think it's bronze because it's very heavy. I think it's bronze. Bronze on a wall. Do you show the back? You yeah. think? Yeah. When, when you saw it, don't show me the back yet. When you saw it, what did you think, sweetheart? I thought it was a bronze Greek, Greek or Roman goddess. Relief sculpture goddess? Yeah. Did you think it was from 1900? Did you think it was from 1800? When did you think it was made? From the frame, I would say more 60s. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a good look at it. Are you still nervous? Yeah. yeah take yeah. a deep breath. Don't be nervous. It's lousy <laughs> to be nervous. As a nervous kid my whole life, don't <laughs> be nervous. Just one day you wake up and you go, I'm not going to be nervous. Everything's going to be good. <laughs> All right. Okay. First of all, it may be quite heavy, but it's unusual. You're welcome, Elizabeth. I'm happy to share my knowledge. So it's unusual that it would be bronze because bronze is extremely expensive and relief pieces like this wouldn't be. Now, um, having, of course, a quiver and arrows, and you'll notice that this is a female. So this is Diana the Huntress. That's who she is. She's Diana the Huntress with the, the bow and the arrow. Very, very famous. So you were right about the fact that you have a mythological goddess, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's see the back, please. You're absolutely right. It's from the 1960s. It's made of a base metal. It's probably a base metal of, of multiple different alloys, and then it is, in fact, patinated or colored. Okay. Right? It probably came in a group of two or four. So you only got one? Yes, only one. They only had one. How much did you pay, honey? 50. 50, five, zero? Yes. It's worth about 85. Okay. You paid a lot for it, but yeah. it is a nice piece. Are you thinking of reselling it or you like it for yourself? Well, it would probably be something I would resell. Okay. So now you're going to have to see if you can't mark it up a little bit higher, right? Mark it up maybe to 100 and then try to, but you got to try to get more because you spent already $50 on it. Yeah. What I do like about it is that it's a relief sculpture, so you're not spending $50 on something really, really low in value, you know, like, I don't know, postcards that are a dollar a piece kind of thing. Yeah. So, and it is something that's more of a statement in a particular place, in a, on a wall or such. 
It's yeah. nice to see you. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, doll. Bye. So she got all red, poor thing. Anyway, but a couple of different things when it comes to pieces like that, you know, sometimes you do have to spend a little bit of money. I say that about artwork, and that is, of course, a work of art. However, they probably stamped out many of those because that idea of having like a, um, a brass tray on the wall, right, or a piece like that one with a figure on it, you've seen those brass trays, are very indicative of the 1960s and 1970s. Lots of folks, pardon me, had those, of course, on their, in their decor. Thank you for helping me understand what to look for. You've definitely stepped up my game. Kathy, I'm so happy to hear that, and I love you too. That's why I'm doing it. I want you to all step up your game. I want you guys to succeed. Too many women don't help women succeed. That's what I want to do. Always carry a loop. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you have to make sure that you actually will carry will carry a loop with you. If you want me to look at your nagels, I'm happy to look at them. You can always send any photo I will review at drlaurieV.com. It's easy to do. Just go to the website, easy to do. All right. And if you need a video call, you know where you go. You go to the website to book video calls. Great. We've got lots of, we've got lots of, oh, we had a lot of fun. I've had so much fun on video calls. Um, well, always. But in the last week, it was wonderful. Uh, a young collector in her 20s who went into a thrift store. I'm going to feature it on Real Bargain, so I won't tell you the whole story. Found a fantastic piece of jewelry for a song. And she said, Dr. Lori, I knew exactly what to do. Once I saw it, I knew exactly what to do because I learned it here. And I'm so glad. So you guys are all going to do it. Wonderful piece. And the jewelry, 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 fantastic. Oh, speaking of fantastic, mm. here's my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Gail and I'm calling from Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. That's a fun place. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it really is. That's a fun place. Of course, um, there's the big university is there too. I so, work there. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Great. So was it now, is it, is it, is it busy for, for summer school? Or are you guys on trimesters? We're on uh, quarters. You're on quarters. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the West coast schools are on quarters. I have a couple friends who are teaching out uh, at the West and they in fact are on quarters. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Tell me about the object you want me to look at. Nice to hear from you from Eugene. Oh, thank you. I have this fork serving fork. Nice. So it looks and like gilded in, in the body actually. And then is it marked at all? It looks yes, like it's, it says um, Italy on the back. I don't know if you can see that on there. Or the not. only thing it says, it just says Italy. There's no numbers or marks. It says Italy. And then there's, um, I can't really tell what the other one says. Um, there's a, a name that's stamped on there. Okay. So typically there's a maker's mark. Sometimes there's a fineness or quality mark that tells you how fine the actual metal is. Mm -hmm. But the Italians are making these very, very early. Can I see the other side? And can I see the top where your hand would go? There you go. Okay, so what you have is a variegated fleur de lis, which is unusual, of course, for the Italians. The Italians like figural pieces. You know, they like to have a woman's body in the middle of something. Mm -hmm. Is there a woman's body in there? Anywhere? Uh, there's a knight with a sword. The knight with a sword, or He's usually having something on the ground. Okay, so there's usually those types of things. So this the symbolism. There it is. So the symbolism has, of course, you know, the faces mm -hmm. which we usually associate with the Germanic. And then you mm -hmm. also have a knight. But if you go up to the top, isn't there a body, a figure? There's a figure right there at the top. There it is. So typically what you see are multi-cast figures. So they're going to cast the piece, and then they're going to, of course, use molten metal to, of course, replace the wax, what they casted in originally. Those serving pieces usually came with other things. So it usually comes in a set. Sometimes there's another fork, sometimes like salad tongs. Sometimes there's mm -hmm. a spoon, all the same kind of elements. That piece dates to the early years of the 20th century, made in Italy, value on it about $55 to $65 retail. Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And all of my values are based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold in the current market, right? So that's another thing that people are saying to me. Well, Dr. Laura, you know, I saw this, I don't know, fill in the blank, Beanie Baby sell for all this money. Well, yeah, it's three years old. That record is old. I saw this selling really, really low. That record, rec nobody wants that anymore. That record is old. So again, you have to know and analyze the current market. And that's important too. Thank you for the super chats and the super stickers. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Here's my next guest. It's wavy lines, all different colors. <laughs> it's kind of pretty, kind of like non-objective art. <laughs> 
when when that when he or she gets their internet working correctly, we'll go back if we can. So thanks for being my guest. I'm happy to appraise your objects. Here's my next guest. I'm Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Hi. Nadine Arcari from Rhode Island. Hi, I Nadine. Am... Nadine, can you move your camera so it's the other way? Because your camera's the wrong way. I can't see your whole object. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Where are you in Rhode Island? Are you near um, Narragansett, somewhere like at the beach, or are you somewhere like Providence? East Greenwich. <laughs> okay. I know where you are. Yep. Okay. I went to school uh, in Providence for a short time. You can't get the camera to move the other way. Uh, let me see. All well, you have to do is turn it horizontally. So it's landscape mode. You know, like the landscape I've got here. <laughs> landscape mode. <laughs> well, we've got another guest coming up. They're working on it. Hi, can you change your camera to landscape mode? There you go. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What's your name? Uh, Donald Thompson. Hi, Donald Thompson. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Where are you? I'm in Gainesville, Florida. We talked not that long ago about Ocala, remember? Honey, do you know how many people I see? 50,000 uh, I love all of you. Well, yeah, 50,000 objects. So that means 50,000 people had to bring me 50,000 objects. But Donald, I'm going to remember you, Donald, okay? okay? Okay. So we were talking about Ocala. Your wife was with you, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, I got it. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. We just Good. got We just got back from Atlanta acquiring some more things. All right, let's see what you got. Well, we got this. Uh, I got to see the whole piece. Yeah, I'm trying to. Trying to do it. I like that. I like that. Are you a horse person, Donald? Do you like horses? I do like, I actually used to train horses when I lived in West Virginia. Really? Interesting. Yes, I would think horses are hard to train. Are they hard or no? Oh, we lost his, video, his audio. What happened to the audio? I have Donald? no idea. Yeah, I'm here. There you go. Okay. So you used to train horses. So tell me a little bit about what you paid for this painting of horses. Was handed to there's, there's Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? This I'm family. fine. Nice to see you. Where's the family? Get everybody in. What's going on? <laughs> this is the family right now. This... All right. So how uh, much did you pay for this painting? I didn't pay for it. It was handed down in, from the family. It's been in the family since the 70s that I know of. Okay. So. Is it signed? Uh, yes, it, show it. I like the frame. The, oh, so it's the right of Derby. That's interesting. Can you show me a detail of the figures? Because, well, you're very handsome, Donald. I'm basically looking at you. I want to look at the painting. Well, I'll probably look like a horse, to be honest with you. No, you're good. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right. And can you move over toward your, your left? Toward your wife. There you go. All right. Can I see the back? <clears throat> yes. Donald's going to turn it around for me. Oh, no. His wife's no, going to turn it around for me. There you go. <laughs> look at this. I want you to all look at this. Get to the middle of the, of the piece. It's there you go. It's very old. Uh, yeah, it's pretty old. It's 19th century. Do you see how there are lines going up and down? They look like dark black, dark brown lines going up and down all the way across. Not not across, up and down. Oh, these. Yeah, those. Okay. Those striation lines indicate that that piece has been has been rolled. When you see a rolled painting, I want you to be aware of that because rolled paintings have gone through, it's kind of like going through the war for a painting. When they're rolled, they actually have stress. And then when they're restretched, sometimes the pigment will start to flake. But that's a nice piece. Uh, the Rite of Derby, very, very well-known artist of, of course, the 19th century. Value on that piece, about $2,800 to $3,000. So it's a Yay. family heirloom, right? Yes. yes <laughs> yes, surprised? Yes, I am very surprised. And that's your, that's your three thousand dollar painting. Where should it be? On the wall. Yeah. Put oh, it up on the, wall. on the wall. We have them all over. Okay, yeah. you find you find a good place for it, and take good care of my friend Donald now. Okay. All right. Happy Memorial Day. Dr. Nice to see yeah. you all. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That's a nice painting by a very well-known artist, so easy to recognize. I wanted to see whether it was a copy of the work. Right. I want to make sure it's actually that artist's hands. And I wanted to show you some stuff that you don't always get to see because I want to show you what to look 
for. That's what I do here. I teach you what to look for so you're informed and empowered so you can succeed. I'm Dr. Lori. This is, of course, Ask Dr. Lori Live. I've got another guest. Thanks for being my guest. Hi, how are you? Hello, Dr. Lori. This is Sarah from New York. Hi, Sarah. You look nice and pink. It's pretty on you. Oh, thank you. Well, it is. <laughs> You got all kinds of glare in front of me from a nice chandelier. Can you yes. turn off the light of the chandelier? Yes. I'm sorry. Maybe somebody can help you. Uh, my there we go. Oh, there I you am. Know. You can see my glare. So, <laughs> New Yorkers. I'm sorry. I love New Yorkers. I don't care. I love New Yorkers. They crack me up because it's kind of like, oh, yeah, and everything's good and they can fix anything. All right. So this is a pretty famous image. You probably recognize it and know it, of course. You know, this one also was an ad, of course, a Cinzano ad for years and years and years. It's been cut down, hasn't it? Well, it's framed. It looks like, I don't know if it was like a poster. Yeah, it was a poster that's been cut. It's called a colotype, colotype that's been cut. It's very pretty. It's very decorative. I think it's nice. It's typical of the 1970s, 1980s. And I would say it probably looks like it's two feet by three feet. Yeah, with the frame, it's 31 and a half by 26. Okay. But, but the image is 19 by 23 and a half. Right, right. What you're talking about is frame size. That's the outside, yep. right? To the outside of the frame. Where am I here? To the outside of the frame, for example, versus... <laughs> versus <laughs> I'll wait for the dogs, you know, versus site size, which is the inside, right? So the inside is site size, site, like your site, what you see, versus frame size, which is the outside. Value on that piece, hundred. value on that piece, $150. Rough, rough, rough. $150 so, for the let piece. Me, let me Thank just ask this much. question. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. If you missed the value, you can go back and watch the video because the dog started barking. That's funny. I probably didn't help it by barking at the dog. Sorry. <laughs> Sight size is, of course, inside the frame. Frame size is outside the frame. It's a good thing to know. Sounds like my house, which is a circus. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think it's fun when you have the little kids and the big kids and the dogs and the cats and everybody. Some of the neighbors are coming in. It's nice. Love the unpredictability. I do too. This is so much fun. And who makes it fun? My team makes it fun. They're able to do this. So all of you can learn more with Ask Dr. Lori Live. Expert answers to your, of course, questions. You can get a lot of information if you research on my website, which is drlorev.com. Go in there and read that blog and see those research pages on, on drlorev.com. There's a lot of information that you won't find anywhere else there, including selling tips. Here's my next guest. All the guests are unvetted. They're all coming to me live. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, good morning. Um, good morning. I, just, um, I have this piece. By, your, by the way, your hair looks great and mine doesn't. So Thank you. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you look beautiful. What's your first name and where are you calling from? And can you turn your camera horizontally? Sure. It's, um, oh, can you see me now? <laughs> Yeah, you can see you're me still now. you're still vertical, darling. I need you to hold it this way. So okay. like this, like this, <laughs> not fine? like this, like this, not like this, like that. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I don't know what's going on. My phone's been OK. Funky. Can you show me your piece and where are you calling from? And what's your name? My name is Susie and I'm calling from California. Orange. California. OK, Susie. Yeah. OK. Um, I have this piece um, that I picked up at a thrift store. It's. Oh, wait, there you go. There you go. That's nice. So yeah. gold tone, and it is set with what looks like a carnelian, a moonstone, lapis lazuli, some semi-precious stones. Can I see the back? How much did you pay for this? How much did you pay for this? $5. $5? Is there any mark on the back? Can't hear you. Ta-da, she's gone. Well, 
Okay, we're gonna have to go on to another guest. That particular piece has semi-precious stones and it looks like it is marked with probably a 10K or a 10 karat gold mark. If she got it for $5, she got a very good deal. I wanna see a little bit more of it before I make an evaluation, but I would say that piece is pretty darn nice for a $5 investment. And I've been telling a lot of you about costume and of course, fine jewelry. And I want you to, of course, to read more about that on my website and also lots of videos right here about, of course, jewelry. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm so excited to be here. Nice to have you. Um, I'm Daisy. I'm from Eustis, Florida. Hi, and Daisy. Can you hold your camera horizontally, please? You know I'm going to ask all of you to hold your cameras horizontally. I've been trying, but this is what happens. <laughs> Okay. I just go upside down. I don't and know what she's doing wrong. Okay. Yeah, I just tilt my phone and that's what happens. But my piece isn't very Do you big. want to keep Daisy? I'm sorry? Well, Daisy, I need to make sure that people can see these objects. That's why I asked for horizontal. Can you see this? We're going to go, Daisy. We're going to get another person. We'll oh. do our best if you can hold your camera horizontally. I'm sorry, Daisy. You got to be able to do that because the folks who are watching are getting upset because they're saying, I can't see it. I can't see it. So I'm happy to do it, but we've got to do it. How can I join your live? Um, Swedish blown glass made in cost. Yeah, you can join me live the way everybody's joining me live. The instructions are right there. It's very easy to do it right on the channel. You can do it. And also what's on the channel is information about, of course, our merchandise at the store. So you can get the tote bag, for example. You all asked for this tote bag and we were happy to give it to you. So you can, of course, get the Ask Dr. Lori Says, of course, I'm Priceless tote bag and other Ask Dr. Lori Says pieces like, of course, your t-shirts if you want them. Information about that and of everything else is, of course, right at the top. So next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Very good, Dr. Lori. This is Nadine from Rhode Island again. Hey, Nadine, I'm so glad you got your camera fixed. I'm proud of you. Thank you for being diligent. I, I actually had to use my husband's phone, so. Okay. It, okay. But, well, it's um, good to have a husband, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Once yes. in a while, he works out good. Yeah. yeah so, that's good. Um, as I stated, in East Greenwich, Rhode Island, um, I answered, believe it or not, uh, something on Craigslist. This woman was... Um, emptying out her barn and quickly, getting it up. Nadine. Okay. So anyway, this this chest that yep. says um, the Browns and right. this two piece this two piece suit that yep. um, was from the Knickerbocker School. It's the first um, military school in yes. Boston, Massachusetts. Yes. Uh, yes. It's a hundred years old. Um, the piece on it says 1930 the attendance to the school and inside the jacket i believe that is his name um okay so you got the trunk from mr brown and you have mr brown's uniform from being a cadet at a military school right yes ma'am how much did you pay sweetheart i didn't pay anything for it okay so they gifted it because they didn't want it anymore First of all, the trunk is going to have some value. The trunk is going to have a value probably around $150, dates to the early 20th century. The uniform is easily $65 for both pieces. And it's a nice piece. If you're thinking about, of course, what can be done with it, maybe you try to research out the school and see whether or not um, you can get a little bit more information about the school. Don't forget that the emblems, the pins, and the other awards that are on the uniform will also have value to the tune of about $25 a piece. So that's a pretty nice deal for free, F-R-E-E. -E. What do I like best? Free, just like everybody else. Thank you, Nadine. Try to get Thank you, Dr. Laurie. Today. Take care, sweetie. Rhode Bye. Island, beautiful Bye. Rhode Island. And you got a nice husband to let him, let you use the phone. Maybe he'll be nice enough to buy you a better phone. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Thanks for being with me. And let's see if we've got some more guests. We're looking at your objects. And hi, I'm Dr. Lori. Can you hold your camera horizontally, please? There we go. Thank you for that. What's your name? Yeah. Where are you calling from? Uh, Amra from Spokane, Washington. Nice to see you. Yeah, hi. I have this, um, excuse me, painting. It's all right. I think it's by a local artist from the 50s. I'm looking at I'm the not... clock, darling. I'm looking at the Sorry. clock. I'm not looking at really a painting. Can you back up? 
You need to back up. I'm going to talk, teach you all about focal length, okay? Your camera has a lens. That lens needs a certain amount of distance in order to, of course, focus, called focal length. Eh, not really, but basically it's the same type of thing. So it's not all, when I say not really, that's not all of the situation. It's not the whole explanation. So yeah, that's not really focal length, you know. I'm trying to explain, you need a little bit of space because when you're right on top of it, it just won't focus. Okay, so you think it's an artist from the 1950s from, I think it's probably a, a Western artist from the 1950s too. Is that how you acquired it in that frame? Yes. Okay, can I see the back? Yes. Don't hit the clock, be careful. All right, so that's illustration board. So that is canvas. Uh, and then the it's supported by, of course, uh, a piece of cardboard or another kind of backboard. It's introduced in the early 1900s. It's a big innovation in art supplies. That piece probably dates to the 1950s, 1960s. It's a nice still life. And value on that piece, I would say, about $250. How much did you pay? $4 oh, at the thrift store. It. It's a real bargain. I love it. That's wonderful. Thanks for calling in from Spokane. That's nice. Spokane, 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 I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm Dr. Lori. Thanks for being with me. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I know you'll love it when we do these on the spot, not completely unscripted, not vetted appraisals. I was talking to a TV, TV producers last night late about appraisals in California and Hollywood, and they were very, very sweet, and they were very funny. They said, oh, Dr. Lori, we really want to uh, get your opinion on a couple of things. So that was a lot of fun, too. So we've been very busy here, of course, um, at the studios, and my guests are why we're busy. Hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Susan, uh, Vast, North Carolina. Hi, Susan. Is it hot in North Carolina already? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think hot. there's a storm coming in. Yeah. Next, yeah. The storms are, yeah, the storms are making them, they're coming in, but you know, I don't know. I'd like a little rain, but not this whole like storm and the wind and the hail. It's too much. Nice to see yeah. you. What do you want Thanks. me to take a look at? I have Thank you for the super sticker. Some folks have remembered the super stickers for me. Thank you for your support. <clears throat> I have this pin. It's two and a half inches from the nose to the tail. And then the dangle is another inch. Can you move it closer to your camera? Yeah. Oh, camera, it's up there. There you go, sweetie. All right, is it marked on the back? Thank you for putting it on a piece of paper. That does help. Helps to give a nice contrast, that piece of towel paper. Um, can you tell me, um, is it marked on the back? No, there's no marks on it whatsoever. It's a gold tone piece of fashion jewelry. It's gold tone metal. So it's cut out slices of metal, basically. And then it's basically gold tone or gold dipped. It does have the dangling form. I think it's rather late. I think it dates from the 1980s, 1990s, and value on it about $25. Oh, okay. How much did you pay for it? Probably around a dollar. A dollar is good. Yeah. I like a dollar. I like free yeah. better, but I like a yeah. dollar. Yeah. I have nice. over 2,000 pins, so. Well, you got to show them to me. And if you want to have, yeah. of course, your whole collection appraised, any of you, you can look into our priority service, which is Priority Ask Dr. Lori. It's on our website, drlorivee.com. Thank you from North Carolina for being with me. And my guests continue. It's nice to be with all of you. So we've got another guest. We're moving them along. Oh, yay! Yeah! Yeah! Is it working? I'm technologically challenged. No, you're not. No, you're not. That has nothing to do with technology. That has to do with sometimes it just doesn't work. Not your fault. That's, that's the machines. But I I'm happy because I felt bad, but you have to keep going because I want to keep going and get more in. Okay, go okay. ahead. Good to see you, Daisy. Hi, good to see you. Hi, honey. So I've, I've had this for like, I don't know, 20 years. Okay. I bought it in Massachusetts. Okay. It's a decanter that's mounted on this piece of wood. Okay. I don't see any signatures on it or anything. It's probably what I would um, take with me if my house caught on fire because I love it so much. <laughs> I've been in a house fire. And let me tell you what you take. You take this, you take this, you take and this. this. That's what you take. And, this, and, you and, make sure, and you make sure you get shoes on if you can. <laughs> yeah. I would probably grab some jewelry, I gotta say. <laughs> but I will tell you, when it happens, your mind just goes into, I'm getting out of here mode. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, this is my favorite um, 
piece of all the things that I have. Okay. I don't really know what it is, where it came from, if it's worth anything. I don't really even care if it's worth anything. Okay. I I, a, lot of, a lot of people feel that way, Daisy. You're in the majority. Most people say, I love it. I don't care what it's worth. It's not about money. And that's true in a lot of ways. But value, it's nice to know value. So it's on the base. When you bought it, it was on the base. So someone believes it to be, of course, a, a, a beautiful object as opposed to being functional. The other thing that the base does, it prevents you from putting any liquid in it. And having liquid in it, of course, you know, you can use it. It's functional that way, but that's not what you want. Is the stop, does the stopper come off or is the stopper? Oh, yes. okay. okay, okay. So your piece dates to the 1950s. Your piece is of course, two-tone glass. Your piece, piece is Italian, probably made in Murano. You can notice also the feet. I don't think yes. it is a Murano piece made by the Murano furnaces, but I think it is Italian in style. So early to mid 20th century value on that beautiful piece, about $300. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Now You're I'm welcome. really going to run it's, out of the house with it. <laughs> it's an ewer, E-W-E-R. It is not a pitcher. It is not a decanter. It's called an ewer, E-W-E-R. Doesn't matter if you know the names. I just like you to get the right information. Thank you for being diligent and getting Thank back with so me. Thank you so much. I love what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being with me. If you love what I do, you need to share it and you need to tell other people about the channel so we can build subscribers so people will learn more. I need you all to be helping. A lot, a lot, a lot of people are saying that they're going on these other sites and they're saying, oh, when I mentioned that you can help, that you're great, you know, they say mean things to me. I hope you will not listen to the naysayers and I hope you will share. It hurts my feelings, yes, but you know what? When other people say this when we're trying to help, but I have to not listen to the naysayers because all of you who are, who are saying you're helping me keep going, I have to do it for all of you. So what you have to do for me, you got to share the channel. I need you to share the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live where I'm doing free appraisals, of course, with my guests. So thanks for being with my guests this afternoon. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. <clears throat> Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm going to um, see one hour. Oh, that's good. Quite a um, while. Um, tell me where you've been. Where are you? And what's your first name? I'm in Austin, Texas. My name is Ace. Hi, Ace. Is that a nickname or do they name you Ace? What was that? Is that a nickname? Is Ace a nickname? Or yes, is it is. My, okay, my real name want... is Adan. Adan. Well, I didn't mean to pry. I was just <laughs> wondering because you know you hear you say my name is Ace. It's like that's a pretty cool name, and people name people cool things. So are you an yes. ace in a particular sport? Are you an ace at race car driving? Or you a, or did you just it just was easier than your long your first name? It's easier than my first name. Uh, okay. Nice to and, meet you. And John. my favorite card is the ace of spades. All right. Well, you know that's a good card. Oh, <laughs> if you're yeah. a gambling man, that's a good card. How are things in Austin? I love Austin because it's really diverse and all kinds of fun, and everybody's smart. <laughs> It's it's doing pretty good right now. The weather's pretty great. It's about to get pretty hot, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in Austin. I mean, there's a lot of music. There's a lot yeah. of art. Austin's wonderful. It's a real one fabulous my, place to be. One of my best friends. One of my best friends is from Austin. Okay, show me what you got. Enough chit chat. Sorry. Yeah, I, I went rummaging through my house because I knew there was a chance that I could be live with you today. Okay. So what I found was um, this year. It's something that. Uh, I think it's from, you know, a tourist, uh, you know, people that used to travel. My folks and I collected it from a home that we were tasked to clean and get rid of anything that, that they didn't want. Yep. Um, yep. My so father's in the papyrus, business. That's a papyrus tourist piece. Of course, that's King Tutankhamun. That's King yes. Tut. You know, you remember King Tut. <laughs> And, oh, of course. Love yeah, and basically, they did have it framed. You can go to all over, you know, you can go to Egypt and you're seeing Giza, the pyramids and that kind of thing. You can buy those in the tourist shops. And then you take the, the piece of papyrus paper home and then you actually have it framed. Very popular from the 1960s to the 1980s. Value on that piece, probably about 50 bucks. All right. Thank you, Dr. Lori. My pleasure. Nice to see you, Ace. That was Ace. <laughs> You know, we've got so many collectors doing so many things and finding wonderful pieces, some really high values, some not so high values, but a lot of fun. You'll learn a lot right here. 
This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser, and I evaluate about 50,000 objects a year, every year, and I'm happy to do them for you. Thanks for being with me. So we've got our guest. Everything, of course, is unscripted, and we're looking at your art antiques and collectibles. I was gonna ask Ace what his favorite part of the channel is. Oh my God, oh my God, it's me. I made it. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh my God. I love the kids, but I can't have the kids on this video. I'm sorry. Oh, if you watch, and I do love them. Don't make them feel bad. <laughs> but I can't. Okay. So, hi, I'm Dr. Uh, Lori. What's your name? Where are you? I'm Bobby, Michigan. I emailed you. Uh, you're busy. Um, so I have this, and I think I shared Bobby, you live. Wait, Bobby, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I emailed you. You're busy. Like, I'm not going to ever get back to you. I'll get back oh, to you. Oh, I know you will. All right, I know I'm you will, well. Bobby. No, I know. Oh I'm gonna do, Show I'm gonna, more a little love, Bobby. No, I, I know I'm going to do your special three things for $49. All right. Show me what you got today. Okay. And how many um, excited kids have you got there? One. She all watches right. you with me all the time. Thank so. you. Tell her I love her. <laughs> okay. So I don't know how I'm going to line this up. This is you John Conn. You're doing it. John John Constable, this is the um, Wiver. Oh no, it's on the back. It says it's from the Art Gallery of Washington. Yes, it's yes, 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 yes. So, so why is it? What, what you have? You do not have a real John Constable because the real John Constable is in the Art Gallery in Washington. Okay, so that's first. Okay, if you had a real John Constable, we'd be talking. I don't know, two hundred and fifty, four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's what we'd be talking. So you yeah. don't have that. John Constable, of course, English artist, um, 19th century, very, very famous, blah, 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 landscapes. He introduces landscapes as an art form, he and a couple of other artists. That's the history of art part for you. Your piece is an oleograph, right? Okay. So it's a painting that's a reproduction of a famous painting, and museums will get these pieces in order to, in fact, promote their collection. So you can bring it home and say, oh, the next time I go to the museum, I'm going to go see that. I used to say when I was first starting out as a museum director and curator, I used to say, I'm going to go visit my friends at the museum. And there's certain paintings that I always would visit at certain museums. At the Metropolitan Museum of Art, I wouldn't go to the Met unless I saw Cecilia Bowes or Nesta Drinker, the portrait of the little girl. I would go there. I would make sure I went there to see that painting. I've considered them my friends. A little nuts, right. but I did. So anyway, this particular piece in the frame, how much did you pay for it? Six dollars. That's good. Six dollars is good. It's worth about yeah. 70 with the frame. 70? Yeah, not bad. Right. Not bad for I, six. And what's okay. your what's your child's name? Danielle. Danielle, thank you for watching, sweetie. Wow, that's for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. Right. Thank you. From Michigan. I went to school in Michigan. A lot of fun today. A lot of fun with Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm Dr. Lori. Thanks for being with me. See you next time.